aboard the Disney Bundle. To your left, blockbuster hits with Disney Plus, then Hulu for laughs and drama. Next, nonstop sports with ESPN. Hi, my name is Sophie, and I'm from Ohio. In my small town, I was known as the kid with the perfect mom. She raised me alone after my dad left us, and she was so stunning that she became a famous model. Everyone admired her beauty and strength. Mom loved looking and being perfect. She always dressed us up in matching, amazing outfits. And once I joined school, she threw parties for my classmates and their parents all the time. We were the most popular family in the first grade. But when the party was over, she was a very different person. She was obsessed with doing crazy skin routines and clicking pictures. If I wanted to hang out with her, she would make me join her dumb photos. One time, she actually dressed up as Mary and I was her little lamb. She posted that photo all over the internet. For weeks, whenever I spoke to people in school, they just said, bah, no way. Hey, I was hanging out with mom anymore. I had plenty of friends to spend time with, even after that embarrassing lamb photo. I was always off at sleepovers with my friends until one day when I was in the second grade, mom gave me some bombshell news. I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. I screamed with excitement. I'm going to be a big sister? Yes. Who's her dad? Not important. When baby June was born, I held her in my arms and refused to let go. Mom threw a massive party at home to celebrate her, and everyone fell in love with her adorable blue eyes and curly hair. But as June grew up, I realized something was wrong with her. If someone wasn't standing directly beside her, she would start crying like a banshee. She constantly bumped into furniture, and if I kicked a ball away from her, she'd take forever to find it, even though it was in plain sight. We took her to a doctor and found out that she had no vision in the center of her eye. She could only see on her sides. Her condition was called Stargardt disease, and unfortunately, it didn't have a cure. Eventually, she had to get her the bulky glasses. They didn't fix her vision completely, but they helped. I got ready for big sister duty. I chose June's outfits every day, walked her to school, and destroyed anyone who dared to look at her wrong. None of the kids in June's class wanted to be friends with her, so I asked mom to throw a party for her classmates, just like she used to for me. But mom said, I'm too busy with work. Besides, June has you. She doesn't need anyone else. By the time I was in seventh grade, June came everywhere with me. She came to my sleepovers, went to the movies with my friends, and we all stayed up doing each other's hair. I thought we had so much fun. But one day, I came out into the backyard to see that June wasn't wearing her glasses anymore. My friends were throwing them around like a ball. I took her glasses back from my friends and screamed at them like crazy. It was just a game. Get out of my house! Get out! How could they be such jerks? After that day, they uninvited me to all their parties and they started ignoring me in school. They even made me sit at the unpopular table at lunch. In just one night, I'd become a complete loner. Whatever. I didn't need their terrible energy. And their behavior made June feel really bad. One day, I saw her talking to some kids in the neighborhood without her glasses on. When I asked her to wear them, she threw them at me. No, I'm finally making friends. June, you could get really hurt. Go away, self. She ran away from me and started crossing the street. A car was coming really fast and it was going to hit her. I just knew it. I flew towards her, but I was too slow. Just as I prepared for the worst, a boy suddenly grabbed June and pulled her off the road. I was so relieved, my knees melted. The boy placed June before me and gave me his hand. Are you okay? Are you an angel? Excuse me? I mean, hello. I got myself together and thanked him for his help. His name was Philip, and he was the bravest person I'd ever met. He was new to our neighborhood, and he was going to join our school. We became friends instantly, like puzzle pieces fitting together. And the best part? He was amazing with June. He was never mean to her, and he said her glasses made her look like a cool superhero. When I was in the 10th grade, Philip asked me to be his girlfriend, and I said yes faster than the speed of light. I was so excited for my first relationship. But the only problem was that we never got time alone. June was always with us, and while we loved her, it did make some of our dates pretty awkward. When I asked mom to find a babysitter, she said, 
Wow, Sophie. I didn't realize you were tired of your sister. I am not. I just want one night to myself. And if this babysitter bullies June, then what? What if she clicks pictures of her and posts them all over the internet? That's not going to happen. Are you sure? I remembered my cruel friends and had to bite my tongue. June and I continued to be attached at the hip until one day when something awesome happened. She got invited to a sleepover by some girls in her class. I really want to go by myself. Pretty please? Yes. This was perfect timing. There was a massive party at my friend's house that night, and the whole school was going to be there. I dropped June off at her friend's house and joined. Who's ready to hatch some cool pets? Click here to make your very own monster. Philip at the party. I'd been there for only an hour when suddenly the music turned off. I looked up to see Mom standing on stage. Sophie, where are you? Mom, June just got into a huge fight at a friend's house. How could you put a party over your own sister? You're so selfish. My jaw hit the floor. The whole school was watching as Mom marched me back to her car where June was sitting in tears. Why would you get into a fight? She called me an insect and they broke my glasses. See? Did you hit her hard? I broke her nose. Good girl. She defended herself. She's okay, Mom. Nothing is okay. I had to go get her because you wouldn't pick up your phone. And now I have to spend thousands of dollars to buy another one of those ugly glasses. Her classmates hate her even more now. Is this what you wanted? Of course not. Do you like that you're popular while your sister keeps getting bullied? Stop it. None of that is true. I knew mom was wrong, but everything she said.